Oh, he just went low. He's in his head. He's in his head. He's, he's open. He's wide open. Cracked open in the face. And welcome everyone, it's Mario Man Tales 100 back again with me. So I was gonna say Mario again, like I did last session. Sonic Generations Redux. Uh, yeah, it's not Mario. We have unlocked that, so we're gonna go into the bosses uh, this time. So, first up, we're gonna do the rival battle, and I got my favorite rival battle. Obviously, we've seen Silver, we did talk to him. Love that nice little remix of uh, Dreams of an Axe Solution there. One of my favourite songs from uh, 06 actually. Because 06, like, despite it being a bad game, uh, it has a lot of things going for it. Obviously, Project, uh, uh, Project SO6, I think is what it's called. Um, the Sonic 06, uh, like, remaster project type of thing. Ah, uh, fantastic. And this is arguably my favourite of the rival battles in this game. Uh, which is weird because the boss fight for Silver the Hedgehog originally wasn't great. Well, I love this boss fight because it uses this psychokinesis very, very well. But yeah, like this, this is this uses the capabilities of your uh, speed very, very well, and obviously uses, like I said, the psychokinesis very well as well. Probably could have got an early hit then if I was very much on that. But like the boss fight in the original game wasn't like uh, yeah, and then we're up to technically phase two, I guess. And one last hit into <laughs> the garbage. <laughs> but like, like the original boss fight wasn't like terrible. I think just with like if the camera worked better in that game and wasn't like static. Um, in that, because you couldn't really, you couldn't really move it, um, 
the boss fight would be a hell of a lot better. Like, I think arguably, like, it'd still be kind of eh, but it wouldn't be as bad because the camera, obviously, you can't see silver sometimes, so you get stuck. And that was one of the, probably the, the biggest glaring issue with that boss fight. But yeah, I love that rival battle. There's not a lot to it, but um, it is pretty damn good. I really appreciate it. Um, we have one last boss fight. Yeah, like I love the, the silver rival battle in this. I think it arguably all the rival battles in this game are really, really cool. Like they're all kind of different in their own ways. It's still like a boss fight, but they're really different. And then we have surprise the egg dragon, <laughs> which was one of the last bosses in. Uh, Sonic Unleashed, and arguably probably one of the best boss fights in uh, modern, Sonic, modern Sonic history. Um, it must be very fucking good because they bring it back. <laughs> they bring it back, obviously, in this game. You're going to be hearing a lot of that. Oh, actually, uh, uh, I was surprised that that, was, that, uh, that activated on its own. Because usually it doesn't. Oh. But yeah, they bring this boss fight obviously back in this game. Then they bring it back in forces. And then they bring it back again. Well, actually, no, I'm sorry, they, I get, they bring it back in forces, and it's like, oh, obviously, it's one of the more popular things. Obviously, some people will say, um, it's reused assets, obviously, from forces. Because, obviously, forces uses a lot of, uh, oh, that just clicked me, too. Got it. Yeah, now the interesting thing is, Eggman's actually piloting this. And if you remember correctly, back with the Death Egg robot, for some reason... See, usually, let's see how it usually goes. Once you go through that pace, uh, through that uh, phase, obviously, um, It usually cuts that, that attack off, so uh, that's why I got caught with that in the first, uh... Yeah, you're gonna, like I said, <laughs> buckle up, because you're gonna be hearing that a lot. Yes, and these walls do close in, if you're not careful. That actually squashed me, too. That hasn't happened in such a long time. But yeah, obviously this boss fight is very different from the fight in Unleashed because uh, in that game, obviously it was the Werehog that, uh, that fought the Egg Dragoon. Oh, yeah. If you're fast enough in that sequence, before he pulls away, you actually can get a hit on him on the bottom, uh, bottom cockpit section.
at least the timer actually started again because I hadn't actually got to like the second phase and stuff like that. Yes, there is a second phase with this. So at least the timer actually reset, so I actually won't. I probably still won't get an S rank. At least I caught myself. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't do that the first time. And I fucking pressed the... You heard me press the X button. Fuck's sake. I was like, oh yeah, no, I'm gonna have a good time with this. And um, it's not even fucking hard mode. Ah, I've fallen off the rail. Yeah, if you are fast enough, you can do that. It, I've seen it happen, but it is very rare that you get that attack off unless you are like speed running this boss fight and shit like that. Yes, I'm a child, I know. But yeah, like I was saying, with uh, Unleashed, obviously, you played as the Werehog for this boss fight, so it's very much a different, um, a different boss fight in this. Obviously, like I said, it, it gets brought back in forces, um, though it is changed again because it's classic Sonic that actually goes up against that, uh, the contraption, not, uh, modern Sonic. I pressed the jump button, but okay. Got it. Timing attack can work pretty well in this in this boss fight, I will say. So you can get it right there too. But I think yeah, I think you got a homing attack with the boost, I think. For the the hit. Because obviously, like you said, I like I just like picked up the reticle uh, when boosting. I completely forgot that was a tip that you got from over chow. Yeah, like that. But you could, that's when, when you're boosting, um... Oh yeah, this, this section's really, really, really cool. Because you're avoiding, obviously, the, uh, the drills. I don't know how I avoided that. Oh jeez, that reticle I thought was on top of me, man. Love that line. Yeah, for some reason the uh some reason some of the ramps glitch out. I thought I ran into that, but okay. The only thing about the air boost, sometimes you can't control. Like, this is one of, like, the, this is arguably, I think, the longest boss fight in the game. Apart from the final boss, obviously. Oh, Jesus. I am running it very close.
And nice drill. <laughs> it's like not too shabby. That was a kind of poor display. Boom boom dragon. <laughs> like that. I think it was just loading the cutscene then. But yeah, Eggman's here, which we've seen with the Death Egg robot that Eggman was taken. So, what happened? I can't believe this. I was supposed to beat you this time. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't get that memo. I beat you every time. No, seriously. We beat this guy every time. It's like it's our job or something. It's a good joke, that. <laughs> What's Eggman even doing here? I thought you said he'd been kidnapped by that yeah. weird thing <laughs> Like we said, like I just said, it's like, what is Eggman doing here? Because... We thought he was taken. But we'll be getting our answers pretty, pretty shortly. And yes, I have tested the fact that uh, the Egg Dragoon has been able to squish people with the walls. Obviously, you could see them condensing. And now we have this next section, which is weird looking, but there is a specific reason for that. Got another Chaos Emerald. So now we have all seven emeralds in our repertoire. Obviously, we get Treasure Hunter because obviously that is a um, little tongue in cheek um, reference to uh, Knuckles and Rouge's uh, levels in Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah. yeah, so we have all these gears. We need to obviously put a Chaos Emerald in each of them. I love the fact that there's a mixture of um, springs here, like the old style springs and the new style springs. I forget how the fuck I'm supposed to. Oh, they're starting to move down. Okay. <laughs> so I was like, I'm like, how the fuck am I supposed to get up there? I'm like, because usually it was like, they usually move. <laughs> and then they're not moving, but uh, yeah, they're all moving now. So this is like a little platforming section. It's not. It's not that bad. Like it's it's high, like a little section. But you see, we have a, like a little mechanism with all these uh, gears and stuff in the background as well. Uh, like, I noticed that some of these, like, some of these have this, like, springs and stuff like that locked in as well. Yes, and now it's lighting that gate, obviously. And all the Chaos Emeralds return to us, because obviously we're collecting them all. Yeah, nice little foreboding uh, 
gate there. But yeah, so that's the full hub world, actually. No music obviously playing. So you can boost from one end to the other. Don't quite have enough yet. Got more artwork, which uh, obviously more tunnels for the uh, Ag Dragoon stage. Obviously, you could see that Eggman Land was in the background, which was weird because that boss fight is in Eggman Land. So seeing like the last piece of the the world being out of place with that, it's very very strange. Obviously, we have silver. So it comes from a future chain, uh, ruined planet in his, t in his timeline. So obviously that's you know the crisis city which we've seen. Yeah, I'm gonna go all the way back because we might as well be the final boss. I was gonna do that next time, but uh, yeah, we can end it off because we've got enough time. For plenty of time. So we really don't need to climb on the gears anymore. But yeah, final boss time. Classic Eggman with Dr. Robotnik. It's a good thing we actually played Sonic Colors first, technically. Because we actually get some continuity. I love the fact that, uh, like, classic Robotnik is designed as classic Robotnik. It's great. I love that. I really wish that Dean Bristow was still here because there's a possibility, yeah, maybe it, got, it would have got replaced eventually in the uh, voice cast, but I would have loved if Dean Bristow was classic Robotnik and Mike Pollock is modern. I love that line. <laughs> that is such a good line. <laughs> and slapped. <laughs> that was just to soften you up. 
now it's time to meet your doom. Hey, that's mean. Where were you guys? Don't give in, Sonic. I know you can do this, Sonic. Yeah, so it's like everybody, like from the real power teamwork <laughs> and the Chaos Emeralds as well. <laughs> we get revived. I love how Classic Sonic is like kind of unsure, but it's like, ah, uh, dude. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, it's it's Sonic 1 Classic Sonic, so yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, Super Sonic, eh. Yeah. <laughs> That's his name. Because <laughs> I imagine him running around in Green Hill Zone was, was Sonic 1. So he's like, oh, Sonic, we didn't technically have a Super Form until Sonic 2. Um. So yeah, so now we face up against the actual monster, the Time Eater, and arguably this boss is not the worst, but it's not the best boss either. Obviously, with Mon and Sonic. But of course, it runs on classic Sonic, uh, it runs on uh, supersonic um, form, so. We're going to be hearing that line a lot in this boss fight, so, uh... So let's switch to Classic Sonic. This boss fight could go on for a while. So arguably, like I said, the Egg Dragoon boss is technically... It's funny, because we're... He's attacking at the moment, which is why I'm not being able to fucking come in. Now that gauge is going to tell me, because I'm under 30 rings now, that I'm going to be in trouble. So if we run out of rings, we're gonna die. So, uh, oh, that helped a great deal. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's like time break. <laughs> this. Uh, this attack, which is really, really, really... No. Like, at least, yeah, okay, it's all sorts of different, um... I don't know how they're speaking normally when time is slowed down, but okay. 
I do like this attack though. The fact that it uses like the time break attack and then also throws out a full lot of homing shot missiles. Ah, I knew it was going to be low. Well, thank you, Boost, for also giving me those rings as well. <laughs> now you gotta hold the button. I used to press the press the button, and it's uh, hold the button. So yeah, you only have to hit this thing like three or four times, which is kind of weird for the like the normal boss, like final boss. Obviously playing in hard mode, which obviously you can do with the rival battles and the boss battles um, That will have more um, More hits that you have to use to take them down Yeah, S rank on the final boss as well And basically we hear <laughs> like nothing happened I think they talk about Sonic there, not necessarily, because originally when I seen that, when I heard that line, I thought it might have been Eggman, but we kind of got a, uh... <laughs> yeah, his future, your past. <laughs> so yeah, so we kind of get like a little, uh, teaser for like the homing attack slash air boost. <laughs> Um, now if we played the 3DS version, obviously by the time we get to Emerald Coast, which is the fourth stage in the game, uh, Classic Sonic ends up getting a homing attack, which is weird, but, you know. Hey Sonic, enjoy your future, it's gonna be great! I know a lot of people will jokingly say, oh, Modern Sonic's just a dick for saying that because his future is like, a mess <laughs> after Sonic 1. I love this credits, credits, uh, credits name. But yeah, that's, that's, that's Sonic Generations. It's been a while since I played it from front to back, uh, from beginning to end. Uh, Probably since the Let's Play, actually, was the last time I did it. We have a nice little video in the corner from uh, the Sonic 1. Obviously, we'll switch to Sonic 2. So it's like a little compilation of videos from like the main Sonic games. And obviously, this is a, a medley. So we're getting all the stage themes that are actually used in the stages um, that were in this game. So obviously, we got Green Hill Zone, we got Chemical Plant. Uh, Sky Sanctuary is coming up, and you know, and above. But love this medley thing. I think it's fantastic, and I like the way that they incorporate all the songs into the into the piece. See now, it's funny because with, with obviously this is a remix of Sky Sanctuary, but this is very much. Um, Sounding like the original more so than uh, than obviously the other Sonic 3 or Sonic and Knuckles remixes that are obviously in the collection. Um, like this is very much using a lot of the instrumentation that is very much um, normal for that song, whereas for like Angel Island and that, like it uses weird. Some weird 
um, instruments that make the song sound a bit strange. Like you can definitely hear it's a remix, whereas that it's, it's obvious still, but it's not no, not nearly as obvious. And obviously we go from the from the 2D to the 3D era with the uh, with Speed Highway and Sonic Adventure. And obviously you get to see the uh, running down the the building. Obviously, as you can see, the, the uh, camera is actually the opposite direction, whereas you're on the building the entire time in this game, whereas halfway through that level it will switch to the building's perspective, whereas originally when you're going down uh, until you hit like the, the glass and then obviously avoiding the, um, the pillars on the way down it's the other direction, so it's up, it's flipped 180 degrees so it's going from top to bottom like in the air to the, the wall of the building, whereas in this game is entirely on the wall of the building being the base. So it's, it's interesting how they change some things up. Um, but I, I, get, I get maybe why they, they did that change, because obviously in the original game it was looking at it from perspective of playing the original game might have been a bit hard to come uh, to, to work out and like I concentrate on Sonic specifically. And obviously we get Mad Convoy Race, and the Convoy Race against the truck um, in the original Sonic Adventure 2, so obviously it runs into a building, whereas obviously it gets the rocket boosters in uh, in this game. And then we go to Heroes, which obviously, as I said when we played Seaside Hill, my first 3D Sonic game. Obviously Sonic Advance 2 was my first Sonic game in general, um, but Heroes was my first 3D Sonic game. And the second Sonic game that I actually played. And uh, I, I love Heroes to this day, and I've, I've, like, I've, like, I've got arguably the worst version of the game, which obviously is the PlayStation 2 version. And I still play that, and I still, like, I've beaten it a few times and I still have fun with it. Um, obviously it's not the best version of the game, but uh, it's the version that I grew up with and, I, and I'm fine with it and I've played it to death. And then obviously we go from <laughs> early 3D with Adventure 1, Adventure 2 and Heroes was still arguably early-ish to the HD era uh, with Sonic 06 and Crisis City. So obviously, as you can see, there's a lot of... We get the uh, tornado sequence here, which is what I was mentioning, going towards the tornado um, in mod in the modern version of Crisis City and obviously classic Sonic, you know, you're platforming around uh, the uh, cyclone area. Love that little slow-mo section. Um, I think arguably that's one of the best parts of that original stage in Crisis City. And then we go to Unleashed, which arguably I gotta say, like, Rooftop Run is one of the better stages in that game. It's fantastic the amount of speeds and stuff. I love this loop to loop rail here. I wish they did that in the actual, like, in Generations as well. Maybe not necessarily the same camera angle, but we kind of get it a little bit. And obviously you see the skydiving section, which obviously kind of um, melds into the Egg Dragoon boss fight as well. Because um, obviously they use a lot of skydiving in that. I love this section. Like, like obviously you can see the rail on the clock tower is very different. It goes around. It doesn't do like a loop and then like go around and just goes you go over the top of the, the uh, clock tower and then ride the rail down and go around the clock tower and then obviously we go to Sonic Colors and Planet Wisp which didn't really change too much obviously because of, it was the year before um, before generations come out Sonic Colors come out like literally it was like probably 10 or 11 months because um, I think Colors come out in December of 2010 and uh, Generations obviously come out in November of 2011 so um, not a lot of change 
with Sonic Colors, obviously they tried to mold all like six acts of the, the uh, level together. And obviously we get some uh, screenshots of like the 3D games, Heroes, uh, 06, Unleashed, Colors. And then obviously we get some stills from Generations as well. And they had like a 20th anniversary event. Um, and literally everybody that was at that event in America, that's their voices in the game. So officially, those people that were there are officially in a Sonic game. Which I think is a really, really cool, nice touch. Are you sure you saw a door over here? What? You were the one who said you saw a door over here. And I know it was one of us. Shut up and keep looking. So yeah, so we get uh, the Eggmen in a white void. We don't know where they are. or in white space somewhere. Um, what time is it? It's the exact same time as when you asked earlier, and it'll be the exact same time when you ask later. There is no time here! Let me just say that this was a brilliant plan that you came up with. Don't get too self-righteous. It'll be your plan pretty soon. I'm gonna dedicate the rest of my life to forgetting it. I heard that! Do we ever win? That depends on your definition of win. Beating Sonic! Oh. Well then, no. Not in an official mainline game. Maybe I'll go back and get my teaching degree. That's not a bad idea. I've always enjoyed telling people what to do. So yeah, so arguably, yeah, in mainline games, no, they haven't won. But, uh, in context of all the games in the franchise, they actually have. I think it was Riders? But yeah, now we have uh, Supersonic as a skill uh, that we can use in the game. But yeah, I don't know how uh, Eggman ends up going from... Because in canonical order, this game comes before, obviously, Lost World. So I don't understand 100% how Eggman gets out of the, the White Void, somehow. I mean, obviously it would be very weird... Um, it'd be very weird if, uh, you know, the timeline ended there, but obviously, you know, what can you do? Um, but yeah, we go back to, obviously, the time before. We can go into hard mode with the boss fights as well. Obviously, our score is there. music back in with this, uh... Because that's the only thing of being on that side of the, the uh, hub world is that it's foreboding because you actually don't hear any music. So yeah, so we've got time break. Use the boost gauge up. And then we'll go into some customization. Customize, we'll have this as our supersonic. Super and Star. <laughs> Don't know why it does that. It's it's very weird, but that's what it does. But yeah, that is Sonic Generations as a whole. Obviously, we've got more extra videos coming because we've got more missions to do. Um, obviously, we haven't done all the missions in uh, Green Hill because <laughs> obviously it's you can see that it's still uh, widened out a little bit. But yeah, we haven't been in every mission yet. But uh, we're going to do some extra videos. We're going to do that as a uh, little bonus for us. So uh, with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching the finale 
um, of Sonic Generations. If you wanted to see more of the missions and stuff like that, obviously tune into the extra videos. Don't know what the hell that is outside, but it's like across from my flat. Does it every now and again, so it's very strange. But uh, yeah, obviously we've got all the characters. Obviously we've got Eggman, which we can switch characters with. whole bunch more music to unlock, got so much art to, to look at, like that's the main thing. Yeah, sort button. So I'll uh, well, show this off as well. Um, we have another room in the collection room. I forgot which button it was going to be, but uh, there's a select button. But yeah, we have statue room. Which obviously we don't have anything in yet, but if we had like little passwords, which obviously you can. Um, those passwords obviously were supposed to come out in events um, for various like Sonic events and stuff like that, but it's all over the internet. I'll eventually put them all in uh, and show off all the statues and stuff like that, but we'll do that in some bonus stuff. Um, but yeah, so with all that said, thank you guys for watching, for watching uh, this episode, obviously the finale episode, and uh, the whole Let's Play. I had a lot of fun playing Sonic Generations again. It's been a long time since I, obviously, like I said, during the credits, uh, that I played the game from beginning to end. Um, arguably, like, the last time that I played. Uh, this game for the Let's Play technically was the last time I've beaten this game all the way through from start to finish. Um, but yeah, um, can't wait for Sonic Cross Shadow Generations. Obviously, we'll see that in probably November um, this year. Um, and yeah, we'll see what it happens. But obviously, thank you guys so much for watching this Let's Play, this episode, and the finale of this Let's Play. We've got some more bonus stuff obviously coming, we've got a whole bunch of missions to do, both classic and modern, so uh, we'll be getting to that pretty soon. So with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video, this episode, the finale, and the entire Sonic Generations Redux Let's Play. This has been Mario Man 100, you guys are a great time night, and of course, take care!